Tom, you made a quick turn around here. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> well, first of all, when we were kids, we walked down the, uh, the hallway and we'd be slapping each other in the face. You know, it's like, you know, you know just friendly, brotherly love. <laughs> Tom and I worked out in the lettuce fields together. We built our work ethic there. We both graduated from college and he went to work for Bruce Church Company and then I went to work for a company called Growers Exchange. He switched jobs, I switched jobs, and ultimately gave us an opportunity for him to join our old company. In 1981, Tom actually started a company called Fresh Western. What Tom started at Fresh Western was the one-stop shop. We sold and turned into River Ranch. I used to sell Clem Richardson uh, celery for one of their customers, and uh, after a few years, they felt I needed to come up to work with them up there at uh, River Ranch Fresh Foods. We fulfilled our commitment of working five years and we both uh, left the company. Sister had a, a house and we actually rented a little room to start Church Brothers. It was just me and Tom looking at each other at a desk and say, what are we gonna do? And uh, I said to Tom, I said, hey, let's do asparagus. Let's do something different. He said, no, Steve, we're, we're doing exactly what we've been doing because that's, that's what we know. We built the business on one-stop shop in our coolers, multiple products going on the same truck. And I'll tell you, that is hard to do. We started with uh, you know, just pure sales, doing maybe 10,000 boxes a week, and uh, you know, selling that, plus brokering on the side. We all got back together, Tom, Steve, David, Gil, and myself, and started Truly Farms, which was spring mix, spinach, arugula, things like this, and the tender leaves. And so as Church Brothers was doing their thing down in Santa Maria, we were doing the thing up here in Salinas, and I was in charge of all the sales, bringing in national accounts for Truly Farms. One was a production growing company, and we were the growers and running the processing operation. Tom and Steve were doing the marketing side of the company. Uh, so after a period of time, we realized that it was better to combine these two companies. I was in charge of putting together to merge all both companies together, so where it was fair for everybody in the company. Church Brothers acquired this facility here in San Juan Batista, which was, you know, formerly the Pride of San Juan facility. It's about 160,000 square feet. I remember, you know, talk of the, at the time thinking, I mean, what are we gonna do with all this space? That's why we had renters in here. And now, you know, the question is more of, uh, what are we gonna do next? You know, we, we need more space. Companies that are publicly owned, they'll know about cooling, or they'll know about harvesting, or they'll know about production. But there's very few people that know a little bit about everything. To do those things, you needed to have the control, and to have the control, you need the vertical integration, which means you need to control every piece of the company. We've got our own crews, farming, processing facility, our own cooler, and actually our own trucking that we can get it. So it's from field to fork. We started our fresh cut uh, iceberg and romaine business in 2009, and it was definitely a rocky beginning, but we're really hitting our stride. Tom has two sons, Jeff and Brian, and I have Chuck and, and my daughter, Megan. I worked in the fields when I was 14 years old. You know, mostly I was stacking strawberries, but my brother, he worked out in lettuce fields throwing boxes. Jeff is, is very analytical detail-oriented, great at sales and marketing, patient, um, and, you know, I'm focused more on the vision and, and thinking three, five, ten years out. The one common theme is we're all dedicated to the cause. Brian's our CEO, and I, I really have always said that yeah, I think it's best to have a family member be the leader of the company. I feel like I represent my company and I got to do the best job that I can, that's it. I work for my family, I work for my employees. My dream was kind of to create the most efficient agricultural machine the world's ever seen. Today, we're in Santa Maria, we're in Salinas, we're in El Centro, we're in Yuma, we're in Mexico. If we want to take care of our customers and give them the best deal at all times, we need to be in multiple places. Had some successful acquisitions with the uh, you know, Green Giant, the commodity program, as well as the value-added program and continue to grow and evolve and continue to grow into the retail business.
we bought the old man facility. So now we can move some of those trucks over to our new facility and it'll give us space to build more over at our Truly Farms processing plant. The next 25 years, expand our food service, continue to build the retail offerings, and really just embrace technology to diversify against disease and weather. The next 25 years is kind of more of the same of what we've been doing, but we've got to keep doing it better. Never thought we'd be going from zero to a million packages a week, and it's, it's an impressive story, and, and I, I enjoy being part of it. When you have a good market and you know, you've got good quality, a lot of product, at the end of the day, You've really accomplished something that week or that month or that year that just it just makes you feel good. Steve and I aren't going to be here someday, and someone's going to take over her spot if we want to take care of her customers and give them the best deal. I think if you just continue to do the right thing, things will work out for you. Every day I wake up and I feel like we're just at the beginning of this journey, and I think there's so much more to go.